Welcome to Dee's Nuts Garage, and today we're going to be working on the Shelby GT. Alright, so I know what you're saying. That's not a Shelby GT. No, it's not. What it is is a 99 F-150, and being that my youngest daughter was born in 99, and her name's Shelby, it's kind of the Ford Shelby GT. Kind of a nickname I named them. Um, so what we're going to be doing with this truck today is we're going to be replacing the cable that runs from the door inside door handle up to the top part of the door on the on the rear set of doors. A uh, couple of months ago, the passenger side door in the rear stopped working, and I looked it up on the old YouTube, and I come across a lot of videos showing how to fix this with some wire ties. Now. That might work in the short run, but that's not the correct way to fix it. And trust me, if I could have got away with just some wire ties, I would have done it. But I couldn't. And the reason why is, and I'll show you here in a minute, where they commonly break down here in the, uh, let me get my finger over here working, in this area here, where your door latch, where it usually commonly breaks, it broke there and at the top. So the cable was broken two different places, so there just wasn't enough, I guess, play in the cable that it was going to even open the door so i had to just order two of them i ordered one for the passenger side one for the driver's side because i figured well the driver's side is probably going to go out for too long anyway so let's just get it fixed <clears throat> so let's go over here to the um, back of my truck here and i am outside and it's cold and i want to get this done as quickly as possible and this is probably hopefully going to take less than 15 minutes to do the right way so let's go over here and I'll show you how to, what tools we're gonna need and how the cable broke and which cable we're gonna be replacing it with. All right, before we jump over here and open up this door and show you how to take the panels off, let's go through the tools that we're gonna need. And it's not a lot of specialty tools. Gonna to need this string. Make sure you have some string. We're gonna need some tape. And this is some uh, tape you use for when you're putting Tyvek on a house. You could use duct tape, uh, clear packing tape, as long as it's a heavy duty packing tape. Uh, something like that. This is just some tape that I had laying around and what we're going to use this for is when we go to put um, our vapor barrier back up in our truck, we're just going to tape the edges because when you pull that back, the sticky stuff's gone. So you need to have some way of, of, of attaching that back to it. This is like a little trim piece we're going to use to pop these off of the truck. Uh, I think this is a quarter inch drive screwdriver. I'm going to be using this for when I take out the speaker in the in the door. Standard flathead screwdriver. One zip strap. Maybe you need these wire cutters. 10 millimeter socket. Big ratchet if I need it. Don't think so. Uh, and this is a uh, Torx T30. I think this is the right size. And I'm also gonna be using a uh, open end wrench. Um, Maybe a seven, eight, five, I don't know. I'll go in there when I get it. I'll tell you, I'll show you a trick about this. And basically a Phillips screwdriver. I have it on a drill because uh, it's cold and I want to get this over with. So uh, let's jump over here and get this door open and show you how to take these panels off. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to take this interior trim off. Now, it's kind of a tight spot for me right here because I'm putting the camera through the driver door and with this, it's kind of hard to see every little thing that I'm doing. So what I'm going to do first is tell you what we're going to do. And then I'm going to bring the camera in and give you a better angle and a better view of actually when I'm doing it. So be patient just for a second. Now, when your cable broke, it probably broke when the door was shut and you can't open your door. So you're thinking, well, how am I going to get the panels off if my door is not open? Well, everything that I'm fixing to show you, you can do with the door shut and closed. And um, what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the two Phillips screws on what I call the window popper back here. And once we remove that, what we're going to be able to do is take this upper piece of this trim and pop it off the truck, off the door. Now, like I said, you can do this from inside of your truck, uh, so don't worry about that. Once we remove the upper part of the trim, we're going to have two screws down here on the bottom part of the, up, the lower trim. At the top, there's going to be two screws. And then there's also going to be one of those little plastic popper clip things that I showed you a minute ago that I had to replace. And then there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt or nut. Once we remove that nut, we'll be able to just 
pick straight up on the door panel and remove it. Don't pull out, pick up, and that whole panel will come out. So uh, once you do that, I'll get in here and I'll show you how to pull that cable to release the door from the inside so that way once you get the panels off, you'll be able to pull that cable and your door will open up. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is like I said, we're gonna remove these two Phillips screws. And keep up with your, your screws. I actually have the box that the part came in. I'm just throwing them in there. Being that I'm out here in my yard today, I don't want to drop them in the grass and be trying to look around for them. So as you can see, that's the that's removed. So now all we got to do is with our hands is just kind of come around through here on each side. All right, so we have all removed the trim. I'm just gonna lay this on top of the truck. Now we have this upper part of this rubber piece. Now these are the little clips that I broke. What I'm gonna try to do is just remove these two plastic, I call them clips, and you can see how the leather just pops, or the plastic just pops off around it. Because we've got to expose these Torx uh, bolts back here. And that's a T27, not a T30. I told you wrong a minute ago. So I'm gonna try to do something with this. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these little clips out. So I've got a pair of wire cutters. Maybe I can get these out. Probably not. They're probably just gonna tear. Yep, so that was that. Like I said, I bought some more because the other side did the same thing. They were $4 at AutoZone. Maybe you got a better way of doing it. If you do, tell me down below. I have some smaller trim pieces in the garage, but I don't feel like going in there and getting them. Removing tools. All right, so now we're down here at the bottom part of the window. We got two screws that are Phillips we're gonna remove. We have this little plastic clip and it broke too. Oh well. 10 millimeter uh, socket I believe. I did pull out on that to get that. There's a little bolt right there. So we want to pull it out and lift up and it comes right off. Now that we're inside the door, uh, we have to remove this uh, vapor barrier. Now, like I said, that's what the tape is for. We're going to try to be as gentle as we can removing this. So what that's done is that's uh, opened up the area where our latches are. Now this door is working properly, but like I said, since I got the part, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And once we replace it, pull it out, we'll look at it and see what kind of condition it's in. So let me bring you in here really good so that way you can see what I'm about to disconnect. All right, so now that we got this 
cover off and we have our door latch exposed. What I'm gonna try to do is show you this little plastic piece here. It's a kind of a clear piece and you will keep this piece. So don't go thinking that you're gonna tear this up because you will reuse this little piece right here if yours isn't broken. So on each side of it, it's got a little, it flares out just a hair. And we wanna push one side in, kind of push it in this and I'm just going to kind of keep it pushed in we basically just pushed it through the hole once you do that you'll be able to push your hand in here and let me see if I can put some light on it you'll see this piece right here well maybe not Right where my finger's pointing, that little black area here, that's the lower part of the cable. And what we're gonna do is just push it backwards, and now it's free. We're gonna reach in and pull it out. Now you can tell I have not even uh, replaced this piece, and this back door was still working, but look, it's already broke. So it's a good thing that I went ahead and ordered another or a set of these because this is this is already broke. So this piece that's in my hand, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna pop the little yellow clip up and it's gonna slide right off. We're gonna put this up, put it in our box. Now up inside the door, which you probably can't see, there was the yellow, this yellow clip right here. That was pushed inside the door. And before you take this cable out, my only advice is look up in there and see where that is um, pushed inside the door frame because you will have to reinstall that in the same place. It's I can't get a camera on it to show you that, but just before you pull this cable out, look up inside the door, see what it's uh, where it's pushed into, and then uh, remember that. So here's our cable. You can see here's that clip. And what we're gonna do is we have our pink string. And what we're gonna do is, let me get you resituated. This is a slip knot. If you don't know how to tie a slip knot, Google it. What we're going to do is we're going to come up past that where that cable's broke and pull and it's going to tighten up. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to undo the upper part of the door latch and pull that out and pull the string through. Alrighty, so we have our string hooked to the lower part of our latch and what we're going to do is we're going to remove these three bolts. These are Torx. The one, it's a T27. And they're in there pretty good. So I can't turn them by hand. So what I'm going to do is take a 15th, 16th wrench, put like that right there on the handle, press in really good, and turn. You could use an impact or a ratchet They make some of these sets, but I don't have a T27 ratchet or a socket right on hand. And I figured I'd just show you that quick trick. You want to be real careful and not strip these out like I'm doing. Try not to let the upper part of the latch slide down on the inside of the door. As you can see, even the upper part of this cable is broke. So I almost was at the same spot I was earlier. So all these videos are telling you to fix this with a zip strap. 
If you're gonna fix this, fix it once. Fix it right. Order $40 worth of these cables and fix it right. Because what's gonna happen is this upper part's gonna break, the lower part's gonna break, and your zip straps ain't gonna fix jack. So if you're gonna take the time to take this apart, fix it right. So all you gotta do is now we got our pink string tied to the other end of this cable, let's pull up. And there's our string. My string is pretty long. So that way, uh, I don't have to uh, worry about pulling the string and the cable through, and then there you are. I'm just trying to reuse my slip knot here. I ain't gonna sit here all day, waste it. I'll just tie another slip knot. In case you don't know how to tie one, do it like that, make a loop, come back around. Pull it through, and if that was too fast, just like that, Google it. So what we're gonna do is basically do the same thing. We have this on our um, end of our new part, we're gonna put the slip knot around that cable, pull it tight. Now we have our string coming out the bottom of the door, right here in this hand. And all we're gonna do is just fish it back through. Keep pulling on the string coming out where the handle was. Just keep pulling through, kind of shaking it a little bit. And you'll basically just slip right out at the bottom down here. Just gonna rotate that in there. We're gonna get all of our bolts started, but we're not gonna tighten any of them up until we get them all in there and started. All right, so I got all three bolts started. They're all lined up just correctly, so now what we're gonna do is just tighten it up. Give it a little snug, ain't gotta be torqued to a thousand foot pounds. Just torque, tighten them up. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put our clips back in here. And uh, then we'll move on to the lower part of the door. Alrighty, so as you can see, here's my pink string and I tied up to this cable. I'm just gonna cut it with my wire clippers here and get it out of the way. Now basically, what we're gonna do is this little threaded uh, piece of this cable. There are some threads inside of this plastic piece. So you're basically just gonna put it about center ways, push it together, push the yellow clip over, and it's done. Now, all we're going to do now is uh, come back from behind uh, this latch right here. We're going to poke this part of this uh, clip inside of this. And probably what I'm going to do real quick is remove the speaker on the truck because I should have done this a minute ago. But what it's going to do is make it a sure, make it a lot easier to... Uh, reach my hand around there and get that all lined back up. You can unplug the speaker if you want, um, but it's not necessary. It'll hang there for a second. As you can see, my part of my finger is right there. We have the cable in our hand. We're basically just going to push it through. Now, 
Now up here is where we're gonna take that, there's part of the cable that is, has a kind of a groove in it and you're gonna push that into the back of this metal bracket right here that I'm working on. And you heard it click. So what we're gonna do is the one zip strap I just kind of went around it and I am going to use this one and just do it like this. And basically all I'm doing is just trying to keep that cable from ever just jumping out. That's not a long-term fix. That's just something that I'm doing just to keep that cable from popping out of there. Now, once I've done this, what I need to do is reach my hand up in here and, um, Sorry, this part, this little clip that's up in here, I'm gonna push it in that hole that I told you to go before you remove this old cable to see where it went into. And then what we'll do is I'll be back, once I get that snapped in, I'll be back and we'll put the speaker back in and our vapor barrier. All right, as you can hear, the, it's 12 o'clock on a Saturday, so we have all those uh, sirens that usually go off. So what we're gonna do is, now, we're just gonna start taping this back up to where it's supposed to be. Just trying to get some of this loose stuff in here like that. Have this tape. Just gonna come through here and tape it up. Now this is a tape that you can use for uh, putting Tyvek on a house and it's a uh, house wrap. It's made for weather, stuff like that. None of this is gonna be seen once you put your trim piece up there, but it does stick really well. And you wanna make sure you put this back where it goes. Like I said, you can use duct tape or whatever else. I'm using this because it's here. All right, so let's. Put our speaker back in. Now would be the time if you wanted to add new speakers to your truck to do it. We're gonna put our lower panel back on. Put it on, you can see on the back, it just has these little four tabs that we're gonna line up with these four spots in the door. Let me get you down here so you can see. We have four of these spots in the door. looking around the edge of the trim here to uh, make sure it's all flush and good. I'm gonna put our 10 millimeter nut back on. screws there was one of them little plastic popper things there it broke I don't have an extra one so it's not going to get it all right so now let's put on our uh, upper piece 
All right, so on our upper piece, we have these alignment pins right there. And there was one down here, but it kind of broke. So, oh well. So we're gonna start on the left side. Get those two clips lined up, you knock them in. Do the same thing on this side. What I like to do with the trim is stick my finger in at the top and run it down. It'll pop out and go all the way around your trim. You wanna make sure that gasket there is uh, where it's supposed to be. Now that we have that, we have our window popper that we need to put back in. Our two screws for that. I just dropped one of them. You want to use a Phillips screwdriver to start those and put them in, that's your deal. Uh, this is good enough for me. I'm going to take it easy, but you don't want to run these in crooked, so just be easy if you are using power tools. All righty. So uh, that is replaced. So let's shut the door and uh, see how it works. Works like new. So, All right, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd encourage you to do so now. And comment down below if you've ever had to do this to your truck. Now, I think this works on the F-150, 250, 350, any of these trucks that had this rear door like this. Uh, I think it, these cables are the same. Don't quote me, but I think so. So it's probably the same way to fix them. If you've had to do that and you've used the zip tie strap method, and it worked for you comment that down below because as you can see it wouldn't have worked for me because the cables were broken at the top and the bottom now um if you haven't subscribed to the channel like i said i'd encourage you to do that because we have a lot of stuff that's coming uh, in the future currently right now i'm uploading videos for cleveland ford rebuilds a 302 engine i'm also going to be doing a tear down of the engine that come out of rodney knox to see what the rod knock was also, we're going to be doing some more work to Rodney Knox, putting their cam in it uh, because the truck doesn't run right between the two different years. There's a cam issue that's causing the truck to uh, not fire in the correct way, I'll say. And there's more to that to come. Now, we're also, like I said, working on the F-350. We're going to be working on the 400, doing a teardown of that engine and seeing what we need to, the parts we need to rebuild that engine. We're also, I'm also working on the springs and the front suspension to get the frame where it's a roller frame and be able to get to where we can start once we get our engine built, put in the frame with the transmission, and keep building that truck up from the bottom up. So I guess that's going to be all to this video. I hope you liked it and y'all have a blessed day.